my hair is just not playable today and it looks a mess so please try and excuse that i'm so sorry <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel and today I'm doing a little comparison video. We are battling out Sleek Cosmetics against Jouer. When I was in Boots the other day I saw this by Sleek and it instantly reminded me of the Jouer Lip Topper and I really love the Lip Toppers by Jouer so I was really intrigued to give this a go, see if they're the same, see if they give a similar effect and yeah I am super duper excited to try these side by side. But before we get on into that if you are new and you you're just stopping by on my channel and you like videos like these then why not subscribe I upload every single Wednesday and Saturday here there's plenty of videos come in all the time and I would really love to have you so yeah if you'd like to hit the red button down below and also the bell next to it so you get notified of my new videos I do also have a Twitter and an Instagram so if you are interested you can follow me on there too I put all my updates on there and also give you sneak peeks so if you want to know what I'm up to then follow me on there but without further ado let's compare these products so so this is called the Sleek Shattered Glass and it's supposed to be an intense glitter effect lip topper. Pretty much everyone knows the Jouer one. This is supposed to be a weightless lip topper and it's got like good oils like coconut oil and things like that in it so it's also good for your lips. I know and use these all the time. They smell so freaking good. Oh my god it smells like cake. It's very thick in consistency this one so I'm going to be interested to see whether the sleek one compares. Price wise, the sleek one is £5.49, so very affordable, and the Jouer one is £13.50, so there's quite a lot of a price gap there. Jouer Cosmetics you can pick up from Beauty Bay and also Cult Beauty. I believe they're not available in any stores here in the UK, but you can get it online. Sleek is pretty accessible, you can get it at Superdrug, Boots, online. There's a lot of places you can find Sleek. Shade wise, I've got the shade Rose Gold in the Jouer, and I've got the shade Bad Moon in the sleek. They're pretty similar. I think the Jouer one might be a little bit darker but hopefully when they're on the lips they'll give the same effect. I was actually hoping to compare this to the like cult favourite skinny dip but I can't find mine anywhere. I'm really annoyed because it's one of my favourites. But actually looking at these two side by side the actual shimmers inside look very similar. But let's look into the details of the sleek one. It says that you can apply this on its own or over a lipstick. Apparently it's supposed to be a multi-dimensional finish and won't leave your lips with a gritty feeling which is great. I know the Jouer one doesn't do that so I'm just going to be comparing the two so let's zoom you guys in and see what they look like. Okay you guys so I've zoomed you in and lowered you down a bit so you can see more of my lips. I've just got a little bit of lip liner and liquid lipstick on. It's the NYX lip liner in Soft Spoken and then my liquid lip is the Ofra X Nikki Tutorials in Nude Potion. So I'm gonna try and do like half one and half the other. We'll see how this works. So this is a Jouer one and I'll just swatch it on my hand for you guys. It's a very whipped consistency but it's very lightweight. Almost feels kind of oily but in a good way. Like it's very soft and it feels so good. It smells so good. Like, literally, I could eat this. It smells so good. But let's open up the sleek one and see what this one is like. Again, it looks so pretty. And they look very similar. I don't know if the camera's going to be able to pick it up. The only thing that's kind of different is the Jouer one is maybe slightly a bit chunkier. I'm hoping it's going to give the same effect. So let's just swatch this next door. Ooh. Very similar applicator to the Jouer one. Let's just swatch this side by side. Ooh, this kind of feels cooling. So swatch the sleek one is a lot lighter, but look at them side by side. They look very very similar. As I said I think the Jouer one has like the tiniest bit more of a chunkier glitter in there. One thing I will say is the Jouer ones don't really dry down. They kind of stay on your lips a little bit tacky. It's interesting that the sleek ones say that they're smudge proof. So I'm going to put the Jouer one on first. I'm going to do it on this side just to show you guys what it looks like. Again I don't think the shade match is on par. I think Skinny Dip would have really matched it but I, I'm really sorry I couldn't find it. I searched everywhere. Oh my god. I'm gonna want to eat my lips now. But this does feel really nourishing on the lips. Usually I wouldn't put it all over like this, but I'm gonna do it for the sake of the video. Usually I just kind of put it on the cupid's bow and the middle of my lip. Use it as almost like a highlight. So this is what the Jouer one looks like. It's super duper pretty and it's got quite a lot of reflex in it. So nice. Let's try the sleek one. I'm super duper interested to see if they compare. Let's see. Oh, the applicator tickles my lips. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's so tickly! Why is it so tickly? Oh my god, okay. This one does not smell good. 
<laughs> uh, it smells kind of alcoholy. Mm, I don't really like that. That finished though. Wow. Oh, okay. There's a lot of base pigment to this. I look a bit crazy right now. <laughs> Let's try and finesse this out a little bit. Oh. Okay, I feel like I'll look like the Tin Man. <gasps> so the effect is super duper cool. However, <laughs> it is very, very pigmented. And this color isn't really that flattering. You can feel it drying down. It's almost like sucking the life out of my lips. <laughs> but it's not feeling too drying. But this just feels like a straight up duochrome liquid lipstick. I don't think the camera is picking it up as per usual. But it's like a champagne based liquid lipstick with pink reflex to it like this is a lot <laughs> i would not compare it with the jouet at all in fact like, the jouet feels nice and plumping and moisturizing and this one feels like a liquid lipstick like it's literally dried down there's nothing coming off it okay so <laughs> i don't feel like this works as a lip topper i don't feel like it's comparable to the jouet at all it is pretty much just a liquid lipstick and I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe this off and then I'm just gonna try using it as like a lip topper, but in a sense of the way that I usually would use it. So I'll be right back and then we'll try it the way that I usually like it. <laughs> okay, you guys, so I redid my lips kind of messily, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but I just wanted to see if I can get a similar effect to the Jouer one with the sleek one, because it was intense. <laughs> but it's supposed to be long wearing, so if I can get the effect that I'd like, which is just like a plumped shiny looking glossy lip then I'll be happy instead of the Tin Man lips. <laughs> so what I usually do is I just kind of put it on my cupid's bow and use it as like a highlight and then I put it in the middle of my lips and kind of tap it out. So again I've got that kind of plump looking lip. So let's see what we can do. I'm just going to tap a little bit in the center and then use my fingers to tap it out. Okay, that's that's pretty. Again, it's still like very, very pigmented for a lip topper. Typically, if you want to use a lip topper, you want to see the color from underneath, if you know what I mean. But tapped out, it does look a lot better. And let's try doing the Cupid's bow as well. This is what I usually do to kind of fake big lips, you know? So this is definitely like set down. I mean, it's definitely there. <laughs> I think used like this, I could actually like it. Maybe in a different color would be better, but it is kind of giving me the fuller effect on the edge that I like. And obviously this is set down, so it's not gonna budge, and you're gonna constantly have that kind of overdraw, which I like to overdraw my lips quite a bit. So this really gives like the highlight, so it gives the illusion of me having fuller lips. If you guys would actually be interested in me making a full-blown video about how I overdraw my lips, then please let me know, because my lips are kind of sad, naturally. <laughs> quite like this product. I wouldn't say it's comparable to the Jouer. I was fooled in the prettiness of the product, but as a product itself, I think it's pretty cool. Just don't go too ham with it. <laughs> okay guys, so that is it for this quick little video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Even though it wasn't a dupe, I hope it cured any curiosity you had about the product, because as soon as I saw it, I instantly thought Jouer. Alas, it's not, but it's an okay product by itself. If you do enjoy these kind of videos and you want to see more from me, then don't forget to hit the little red subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so you get notified of my new uploads. We are almost at 200 people here on my channel and I'd be so grateful if you decided to join. I'm here twice a week for you guys but the only way you'll get updated is if you subscribe so don't forget to click that little button. If you did enjoy this video then leave a little thumbs up. That'll be super helpful for me because then I know exactly what you guys want from me and I'll continue rolling out this content for you. But yeah that is it from me. I hope you're having a wonderful day, night, bubble bath, whatever you're doing and I hope you come back for the next one. Till then. Bye guys. Thank you.